today we are going to talk about the clavicle look at the clavicle we should see whether which side it belongs to first you have to check which one is smooth see if you look at the upper surface and look at the lower surface In the lower surface you can see the ridges can you see the projections rough areas so it is the inferior surface look at the superior surface it is almost smooth and now you can see put it the medial border should be rounded in shape so the medial border is medial part of the clavicle is rounded and so you have to turn like this and the lateral part is flattened fine then now you see here you can see the medial end is rounded and the lateral part is flattened and the medial two third is convex anteriorly so it should be convex you can touch your clavicle medial part which is convex and i say it is palpable and the lateral one is concave anteriorly so this is the position so it belongs to the left side right side and here is the bone we'll keep it okay so the medial to the i will put it in the cadaver okay as i said the medial is rounder and the lateral end is flattened so uh, shall i keep it like this it is wrong see the convexity is facing posteriorly so it is wrong so convert it okay now you can see it okay so medial is rounded and the lateral is flattened and medial is convex anteriorly you can you see this convex anterior so it belongs to which side left side okay so this is left side clavicle and this is right side clavicle now we'll see the important features of the clavicle okay i'll put the bone like this and i'll tell you if what are the things are there number 1 the muscle which is present here is okay nicely you can see the muscle which is present here that is your pectoralis major so anterior part okay so the two third anterior two third you can see the muscle which is getting its attachment here is pectoralis major and then laterally you will be having that okay so laterally you will be having uh, lateral one third is attachment for the delta and posteriorly you have a big muscle by the name trapezius so the trapezius comes to the posterior border so the anterior lateral one third is for the muscle delta which is present here and the posterior one is for the trapezius so again i repeat medial two third convex anteriorly this is for pectoralis major lateral one third in the concave position that is for the pectoral deltoid and posteriorly i said one big muscle at the back it is called by the name trapezius okay now these are the muscle attachment another one muscle which starts from the sternal and the clavicular end and goes towards the mastoid process it is called sterno cleido mastoid which is going here you can see the fibers nicely okay two fibers sternal and and the clavicular these two together form sterno cleido mastoid this fiber it takes its origin from the upper surface look at the upper surface upper surface of the sternum so number 1 four muscles number 1 from the upper surface of the medial end of the sternum is sterno cleido mastoid anterior two third is for the pectoralis major lateral one third is for the deltoid anteriorly and posteriorly for the trapezius and down you can see there is a groove by the name subclavian groove the subclavian groove gives attachment sub so subclavian muscle now what are these projections what are these prominences for definitely it is for the ligaments so medially this is costal cartilage i have already told you this region is called the costal cartilage so from the costal cartilage to the clavicle if the ligament goes that is called as costal clavicular ligament so this projection this prominence is this stuff surfaces for the costal clavicular ligament laterally is the lateral flattened one so the flat surface here is the coracoid process so coracoid to clavicle that is a ligament called coracoclavicular ligament so medially costal clavicular medially costal clavicular laterally coracoclavicular ligaments so these are the two projections okay here and here 
okay so now you see the projections here the projection here is called as the projection here is called as conoid tubercle the ridge is called as trapezoid ridge so conoid part of the coracoclavicular ligament and trapezoid part this tubercle is called conoid tubercle and this is called trapezoid ridge this rough surface is for the costoclavicular which is present medially and this coracoid is coracoclavicular ligament is present at the lateral end so this is about the clavicle so five muscles we have seen and you have you can see a foramen by the name uterian foramen is present here so the clavicle peculiar features of the clavicle it is given in the bone this medial two third and the lateral one third junction is more prone for fracture the bone has two medullary cavity two medullary cav no medullary cavity and two primary centers of ossification there is a only long bone which is placed horizontal that's all about the clavicle now you see the scapula scapula i will tell you few important points about the scapula number 1 how to identify the site since it is a bone called humerus so everybody knows humerus is present here so which side humerus it is you have to check the head of the humerus this is look at this this is the head of the humerus head of the humerus should be getting its articulation with a glenoid cavity so glenoid cavity so how to handle it since this is a bone which is present inside then only you can the head of the humerus can go and articulate with this you can see the glenoid cavity the glenoid cavity should be placed outside so how to hold you have to keep it like this if you hold it it is placed inside okay so now and one more important factor the spine of the scapula spine of the scapula is should be flay, facing dorsally okay so keep it like this and you have to keep the bone like this now it 